A letter with uh, a form, a former bureaucrat. Former bureaucrat reveals that Arvind Kejriwal tried to pressurize her into dropping out of a race for a government post. We have our political affairs editor Navika Kumar who's joining us with that letter. Navika, over to you. Well, uh, this is an exclusive letter that I have in my hand. Uh, this letter clearly shows that uh, Arvind Kejriwal's government is down to bullying tactics now. Just what does this letter say? This is somebody who's in the race for the chief secretary of uh, Delhi, Shakuntala Gamlin. This is the letter written by her just this morning. And this letter has been handed over to the LG uh, of, uh, of the state. Uh, in fact, the LG, Mr. Najib Jang, uh, has been handed over this letter. This letter says the undersigned, that is Shakuntala Gamlin, had telephonically informed the Honorable LG last evening that the secretary to the Honorable Chief Minister, Arvind Kejriwal, had shown her an unsigned typed copy of a file noting earlier in the day which he uh, stated would be placed on the file pertaining to the appointment of in charge chief secretary unless she Shakuntla Gamlin withdrew on her own volition from being considered for the said post. So Arvind Kejriwal bullying a top bureaucrat in the Delhi government Shakuntla Gamlin saying she should opt herself out and this was told to her by none other than the secretary to the chief minister. In fact, the letter goes on to say the aforesaid unsigned type note, which was from the Honorable Chief Minister to the Honorable LG, contains something to the following effect, that the Honorable Chief Minister had found the uh, undersigned unsuitable for appointment in charge of Chief Secretary, as she did not only been ineffective in her present position, but she's also tried to favor BSES promoted by Reliance Industries. So accusations leveled on an unsigned note against the officer. I'm also joined by Harun Yusuf, uh, former minister in the Sheila Dixit government uh, in Delhi. Uh, the question is, if there are allegations against her, should there be an independent inquiry or should that be used to arm twist an official to opt out of the chief secretary's race? What's your opinion? You see, Kejriwal government has become used to these kind of tactics by disrespecting women, disrespecting the pillars of democracy, whether it is bureaucracy or the media. And the uh, Honorable uh, Court has given a, um, a reply to it because the same person who has gone and asked uh, the Honorable Supreme Court that uh, uh, defamation cases should not be dealt as, as criminal cases, and he is doing the same thing and now threatening the officer. Earlier also about a week back, uh, the same manner uh, a senior IAS officer has been shunted out who was brought in for the dialogue commission. And I think uh, Kejriwal is behaving like Idi Amin of Delhi. And uh, this kind of thing people are watching and he is doing it because he wants to divert the attention from the governance. Because he is not, he is only uh, talking about that he has given 50% concession to the electricity, free water, and for how long he can hide behind this? It, uh, Delhi is but, but suffering Mr. Harun Yusuf. The, the, the excuse that is being used by the Kejriwal government is the fact that there are allegations against this officer. Should the allegations be separately inquired into or should an officer be threatened to, to opt out of the race for chief secretary? It is, it is like blackmailing the officer. If there is any such thing, he should have already ordered an inquiry into it. And this kind of tactics which he has been using, he is used to it now. And similarly, in Kumar Vishwas case, the way a uh, letter has been issued to the Women Commission chairperson, it is unfortunate because the Honorable High Court rejected the plea of um, Kumar Vishwas. And now they are threatening that uh, chairperson of the Women Commission. I'm joined by TSR Subramaniam, former cabinet secretary and somebody who is well versed with the rules uh, of uh, how uh, the bureaucracy functions. Uh, TSR Subramaniam, we have with us a copy of a letter written by Shakuntla Gamlin uh, to the LG of Delhi. She says in this letter that the secretary to the chief minister has threatened her to opt out of the chief secretarial race till such time because, in fact, she's, she's been asked to do this because there are allegations against her of favoring BSES. 
Now, if there are allegations, would the correct procedure for the chief minister would be to institute an inquiry or would this be used as a blackmail tactic virtually to ask her to step down from the race for the chief secretary of the state? Well, I don't know all the facts of this particular case, so I'm not able to comment in detail. But the, but the, but the fact is that uh, the matter seems to be, it has been handled in a very hand-handed kind of a manner. And this is not, I think, the, uh, well, uh, if there are allegations against her, the proper thing is, if there is a prima facie case, it should be inquired into. The prima facie case is not there, and it is a vague allegation, it should be dropped. But you can't ask her to opt out for her race. Why should she a candidate that she thinks she is good? Why should she herself opt out? This little ham handed, uh, amateurish. Uh, well, I can understand it's a new government and uh, there needs to be more finesse in handling uh, the higher bureaucracy. A lot of things are done by discussion, etc., etc. But you don't ask someone to opt out. I mean, this is not the correct way. Well, so you're saying that the rules don't allow Arvind Kejriwal to actually question the bureaucrat. If there are allegations, Mr. T.S.R. Subramaniam, if, if I understand you right, there should be an inquiry into it. That's but right. can a mm -hmm. mere allegation be used to ask her to uh, step down from the race for the chief secretary's post? No, why should she step down? So long as she is not uh, disqualified, why should she be asked to step down? Uh, I mean, if, if Arvind Kejriwal thinks that she is not the right person, he should record the reasons for that and have the courage to do that on record. But not say you, why should she opt out, number one? Number two, if there are allegations and there are serious and privacy some information, an inquiry should be done immediately.